Hello everybody, happy Monday. Sorry for keeping you guys waiting. We were having uh, a discussion and it, it kind of took a turn into a discussion that really couldn't be talked about on stream. And so we kind of had to wrap that up. Um, we have, thanks, we have wonderful guests tonight. We have uh, Telen, who is a dev here on P99. He has brought you the wonderful spell particle effects that you currently see in game and we're very very thankful for that i'm sure he's done other things but i know that's the big thing and i got some before and after stuff i can show you guys at some point tonight maybe um we also have secrets who's done a ton of things all over the place and then we have Derry Bale and i'm Sirkin. we're gonna have uh i'm trying to find skype i can't find it I'm going to have them say hello, hold on, as soon as I... Oh, Jesus. Hi, guys. It took me a real long time to find the turn off hold button. Excellent. But I did find it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just start with, uh, we'll start with Tellen. Say hello. Tell them who you are. Hey, everyone. Um, I'm Tellen. Uh, been with P99 for a couple years. Uh, I'm the guy who worked on the spell effects and a few other things I'm working on. And uh, I'm a fan of the stream, so I'm glad to be here. A plus. We're glad to have you here. <laughs> Absolutely glad. I had no idea you had any interest in coming on. And then I saw something on YouTube, I think, and I was like, yeah. PMs. <laughs> I got all excited. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks. I didn't uh... know. Well, I, no, I take that back. I knew that you uh, tuned in, Talon, because uh, we see you in the chat all the time. Tuned in, for sure. Didn't know you had any interest in coming on. There's a yeah. world of difference there. Right, right, right. That is true, that's true. Well, yeah. Tuned in for what? whole different This. Way. Yeah. For this wonderful thing. Um, and, and secrets. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Who are you? Who am I? Who the fuck are you? We don't let strangers on this stream identify yourself. I'm Secrets. I used to be doing a bunch of flat magic. It's like that's what they did on that episode of South Park, except uh, I don't know if you've seen that one. <laughs> you used to do a lot of what? Flat magic. Oh, oh. What did you think I said? I, I, I had no idea, man. I, it sounded like just uh, like pipe magic or something. I had no clue, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Play it, no. A plus. No. A My plus. mistake. Continue on. I did not mean to interrupt you. Is that uh, it? Is that it? Do I, we know I, who I you are I, now? That's it. Yeah. That's... God damn. Can I, I finish? Can you... I finish? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. I'm finished. A plus. <laughs> I, for some reason, I knew you were going to fucking do that. Oh. Uh... Hmm. All right. Uh... By the way, that episode of Magic you're referencing, the, the cock magic thing. Yeah. Funny ass episode. Funny that ass was. Episode. Yes. Uh, Darabelle. Hello, I'm back. I haven't been on uh, the Supercast for a while. You've you've not been on since November 11th. Oh, really? Has wow. it been that long? Maybe the 10th. Whichever one of those okay. is a Monday night. Has it actually been like four weeks? Then? It's been that long. Six. I looked earlier tonight. Damn. Yes. Um. Well. Welcome back, self. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself a nice welcome back to the stream. Feels, feels good Talking to be to back. Yourself again? <laughs> yeah, that's how I. That's how, I that's how I get by, you know. That's how I keep my sanity. Um, wow, it actually it doesn't feel like it's been that long. It feels it feels like I've missed a couple, but not that many. Um, You've missed three of the last four. So yeah, great. Uh, uh, yeah, I've been busy with real life. I have been around P99. I just haven't come onto the stream. Um, so here I am, uh, if you don't know who I am, I don't really know what to tell you. Uh, it's I'm probably a good. I'm a GM on P99, and, uh... Wow, you're a GM on P99? <laughs> that's, that's my claim. I just heard all the enthusiasm just, just billow I, out of I, you. I, I, <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm a GM I'm on like, P99. Hey, I'm, I'm on Supercast, having a good time. <laughs> oh, damn it, I'm a GM on P99. Start thinking of the petition uh, forum. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh. Dude, dude, tell me, what do you do as a GM on P99? God, no. Besides cut yourself and cry in the corner. <laughs> See, so I get, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, I get 
I get all the petitions that nobody else wants to do, number one. Uh, that's always been my claim to fame ever since I was uh, on the staff. That's always been my role. Uh, except IP exemptions. I, I've, I've graduated from that. I don't have to do those anymore. Uh, but I get all the I get all the stuff people don't want to do. Like I get all the really shitty ban appeals from from people that that we know we're gonna tell no. That's people go, oh here, give it to Darabill. It's fine. He'll tell them no. Or, or <laughs> like, or uh, uh, the the people who are just really pissed off or or have an unsolvable problem. Like all the all the account recovery stuff all goes to me. It all gets assigned to my to my name, and I can't do anything about them right now. Guys, I gave a cloak of flames to a grass snake. Could I have it back? Yeah, well, you, <laughs> that one. See, that one we can do. That one's easy. Yeah. Uh, but all the all the impossible ones go to me. Uh, all the bad ones go to me. And if you do something really bad, if you do like RMT or you know one of those horrible heinous crimes that we have uh, on the server, RMT or MQ use or exploits, that's all my domain. Um, I get so to do. So multi questing is not allowed. Oh, a macro quest. <laughs> God damn it. We're God. starting early. <laughs> We're starting early. We're <laughs> starting early tonight. Oh my God. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I get to do all the mass band waves, which uh, is not as, as fun or enjoyable as you might think. It actually is horrible. And you know what? You don't get the same. I, I guarantee you that you would get more satisfaction out of like individually banning yes. 15 yeah. accounts yeah. than yeah. you would out of like mass banning 100. No, you do, and and here's why. Because when you know, Sirkin, I know you know this from personal experience. When you just mm -hmm. ban like that one person, you're banning that one person because, you know, they stepped over the line. Like if it gets to the point where you're actually banning them for something for a CSR related thing that's not RMT or or you know macro quest or something, it's because they were truly a scumbag. I mean, they were a blight on the server. And they needed to be removed. And like logging good. into beta and talking shit about Nobog or other developers. It's all of those things. So when you hit the ban button on that one guy, like, it's okay. You know what I mean? Like, everything's good. But when I take a list of, you know, however many dozens or hundreds of accounts, and, I, <laughs> and we run a query through the server to just ban all of them at once, number one... It's usually just all RMT bans, and I'm just like, God, you know, people never learn. It's not, there's, there's no satisfaction there. And then number two, I got to respond to all those people's appeals because every single one of them thinks that they're smarter than me, and then they're going to weasel out of their ban. So it ends up being like, here, let's ban all these people, do all the work finding out that they're guilty, do all the work putting in their shit, logging it, you know, writing down why they're banned. And then after all of that, wait for them to petition and then have to explain to them why they're banned and sit there and, and argue with them so that they fucking get it and fuck off. Level 60 so, Moke on beta just throws a shuriken at uh, King Toramax, runs them all across Kale. Oh my god. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm not actually, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to give people ideas. I, I know, I know. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, let's, let's, Every, let's everybody already there. Everybody already knows the one I'm thinking of probably, but that was a fucking yeah. nightmare, man. We were <laughs> That was that was pretty much an insta ban. Like uh, the the yeah. night that that started happening, I was like, Sergeant, what are we doing about this? And he's like, You pull him aside, you warn him once. If they do it again, perm ban. <laughs> Eventually, he's probably. And I was like, Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Good it's times. It's just disrespectful. It is. Like it is. it's it's just it's rude and it's disrespectful and well, it's it's, a, it's obnoxious too. I mean, plus it, it like it borks that whole. Well, the whole red server is obnoxious, but we don't ban for it. Right. Right. Mm. Prize is so, going to be yeah. bannable soon, or? <laughs> no, can't ban that. Um, so anyway, the, I also wanted to add that we are going to do a GM chat this week. Um, Hooray! To be totally honest, I haven't picked a topic yet. Uh, so if you've got something you really want me and Sirkin to hit hard in a journalistic manner. I'm very journalistic. <laughs> What's the next Force beta? That's a good Send play. me a PM. Oh, that's actually perfect. We could talk about beta on GM chat. Beta's great. Uh, I've been like beta that's... testing. I've like been making notes. Bit. I actually saw you make a bug report, sir. I did I was, make a bug I report. Was pretty, I was kind of blown away. In I my put pictures. I, I, I used MS Paint and everything. I know. I saw you actually <laughs> you drew, used MS Paint. He, he drew a map, you guys. He straight up oh, drew man. a map and, and circled shit. And yeah, it was very professional. I used well, lines. I a steady hand. Well, I didn't really doubt. I, I I stole the map and MS painted all over it. So I mean, it is what it is. What was the bug? 
Might I ask? Oh, it was just a, my pet wouldn't pat. All right, when you <laughs> zone into Tower of Frozen Shadow, he wouldn't leave that, that hallway where the two specters are across the hole in the floor. He wouldn't leave that entrance hallway no matter what I did. He'd just go back and forth. And so I made a bug report. And He was timid. It's a it's it is a shining example of what all good bug reports should look like for any players who aren't sure. And I don't need to know shit about Velius to know that's a bug. My pet's supposed to follow me everywhere and he didn't. Bug. Forum. Done. Yeah, not an opinion. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. they're like, I don't know anything about Velius. How can I help? I know. I wish we could spread this message, Zirkin. <clears throat> like I really I wish that there was some way to just like uh, I d I don't even know, just take a an MOTD, maybe, on the server, and that makes sure everybody reads it. People they don't read do. them. Yeah, I don't even I read them. I got a real idea. I, I got a good idea. Um, PA system? PA, not a PA system. Mm. Like, you, you schedule events for when beta testing is supposed to happen, like you've been doing. Make it forced, but you offer incentives for doing so. Um, yeah, but that, that gets complicated, though. Isn't we actually, Velius you know, an incentive? Yeah, you know, we'd actually... Yeah. We'd bounce that around. Not uh, waiting a fourth it. year. Yep, yep. We talked about that, and it's it's logistically it's a nightmare, and okay, and yeah, there was a bunch of reasons why uh, we so just. Does this, so does this mean that uh, when you when you do actually get this beta test done, will we go beyond four years of having the same president? <laughs> what, what I mean by this is like. This is four years of Kunark. Who is this Hugo Chavez now running the show? Or <laughs> well, I mean, we've always stated P ninety nine is not a democracy by any means. Oh uh, well, there you go. Then. And so there's no limit on how long a dictator can reign. I, I really, I really didn't know where I was going with that, <laughs> except I just wanted to use the whole term limit thing. Like, <laughs> well, it it worked out. It worked out. Maybe you should vote with your with your uh, bug reports and get that get a Kunark out of office and bring in Delius <laughs> indefinitely. I don't know. I've actually seen posts and threads of people who say that Kunark is their favorite expansion and they don't beta test because they don't want Velius to come out. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those posts too. I don't even know what to say to those people. I, I, yeah, I don't know do, do you want the poop suck for years? Or do yeah. you want Velius to come out? I feel like, like those people sure. probably aren't raiding. I feel like those people would just want planes of power. Um, I feel like if they don't want Velius, they might, if, if Kunark's their favorite expansion, they probably don't want anything to do with Planes of Power. I, I don't know, Planes of Power is a pretty good expansion, and honestly, the closest thing to Kunark would have to be Lucklin. Um, Lucklin was the worst, and Planes of Power had keyed mobs and progression, whereas Kunark was just 32k Zerg fests. Oh yeah, I, I know it's a 32k Zerg fest, I'm just saying, uh, Vex Thal was actually... Like the, if if they added here's what I here's the thing about Lucklin if they actually had more content in Lucklin I guarantee that expansion would have been really good. But the if they is, wouldn't if have had a bazaar, if they wouldn't yeah. have had a fucking nexus, if they wouldn't have had a bullshit, stupid cat race and a class that just made druids and mages want to kill themselves, um, then and and then maybe Lucklin wouldn't have. Oh, and character models. All the fucking character models. Yeah, oh, yeah the unfinished that. ones. Oh, Jesus. No. Lucklin. Uh, see, if they removed everything that people hated out of Lucklin, which was the bizarre character models, uh, the insane HP in Vexthal, the keying system for Vexthal. Oh, don't even get me started on that. Um, I don't like the whole alien theme. The whole. It was just weird. It was I like weird. The alien it theme, didn't fit. But... It did fit, uh, no, you know, in the same way that Kunark fit. I mean, Kunark was a strange land. You have it's just a strange land in space. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> fit. Did, wait, did did they blow it up later? They, I can't. In the EQ2 storyline, they did. Yeah. So see, they regret it too. <laughs> yeah, they, they regret it too. <laughs> okay, there you go. But, that but was I, my favorite part about EQ2, other than the little shorty the monks, is, the exploded Lucklin. I could look <laughs> up and see any time I wanted. The other thing that is about Lucklin, though, is that they just added the raid content from Lucklin. I would see that being viable. Just added it in. Oh. None of the, none of the extra stuff like Fallout or anything. 
I, I would love to see AAs on P99. I really would. Oh, AAs are the worst. AAs Why? are kind of the worst thing. Absolutely the Absolutely. worst. You know, I've tried to fit AAs at every custom server I've tried to make on EK Emulator, and AAs never fit in anywhere. I end up scrapping the system or adding in some uh, system where you can get AAs, but you don't spend them on abilities. You spend them on, like, it's as a means of progression. Like, you get a new spell with AA points or something like that. Or you get a new, p you, you can buy a piece of starter gear to help you level yourself into rating. You know? <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Uh, the only good thing about the bazaar was I could find nerds who would AFK sell things and nudge them into the arena and kill them and take their monies. <laughs> that was the only good thing about the bazaar. I would oh, I, just, I love that. I would just lurk on high priced items, and as soon as it disappeared, I'd go find the guy that was selling it and just nudge his ass away and take all his money. <laughs> you mean just go up to his body and start just, you know, humping his body and try to push him into the arena? Mm hmm. Give him levitate, and uh, you could just nudge them right off the platform. And I played on Valen's X, so we were allowed to loot coins oh. in PvP. <laughs> wow. And so I would just nudge them into the arena, kill them, and loot their coins. If they were to ever do a system like that, I, I honestly think the well option house it would be the best system to go because that way um you're not forced to sit there you're actually able to sell items without i mean people do that with tunnel quest already they have log parsers that do the exact same thing as what a well auction house is the only difference is there's player interaction and there's negotiating i mean why not add in the idea of negotiating and a base price in a ui of some some sorts i mean you leave you, you can leave a player on the auction house a message or something i honestly think that would be the way to go you but remove until an entire aspect of the game by having the bizarre did. that's the I, problem I there's people that only play <clears throat> excuse me that only play tunnel quest and they enjoy that shit mm -hmm. i know green grocer plays for food and baking and cheese and shit yeah and, and that, that only happens in the east commonland's tunnel like you don't get that anywhere else you don't go to like uh <laughs> Bell bacon things. and cheese and shit <laughs> you, you don't see that in bell with oh, that's great. at all no yeah. and if people don't like tunnel quest if they don't like city and ec guess what there's tons of people who will sell your wares for you at a for a small yeah. percentage i actually yeah. my server on live we use north freeport i actually love north freeport we use gfave on mine i think i think east commons is great and uh the only reason i think that is because uh, it's easiest for Ixars to run over to High Keep to bank. I know they. Can, I know they <laughs> can do it in. Put uh... bizarre stalls in the middle of East Commonlands. What do you think about that? No. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> kidding. That would be the most terrible idea ever. Oh uh, God damn it. No, no. But we are thinking of putting. Uh... Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can say this. No, I don't think I can. I'm pretty sure this is not a huge secret. We are thinking of putting a, a casino vendors somewhere. Oh yeah, you oh, could no. probably say that. Oh no. Well, Casino, casino NPCs, because everyone flipped out when they couldn't have their casinos. So, you know, the very day that we took all that out, Nilbog and I sat down, and, and Nilbog had coded up a little uh, a quick casino NPC no, quest I'd script. I'd not and... be opposed to that, except the only thing is the NPC has to camp and log off or slash queue or something. Occasionally, just run with your plat. <laughs> 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 Oh man! Oh, I gotta recreate the chance of getting scammed. Yeah. If you roll a one, if you roll a one, he just bails with all your. No, guys. no. If you roll a one hundred, if you roll the top roll, that's when he bails. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, when, yeah. When you beat the house, he just runs. Right. You hit that three to one payout, and he slash cues yep. instantly. Yep. Yeah. He even says in the quest text, he's like, "Roll a one hundred, and I'll pay you out ten times." You roll a hundred, you just. NPC just disappears. No, no, it's got to say Link LD next to his name. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. For the full immersion. LD appears, and a minute later he depops. And he's like, you don't want to ruin the the uh, feeling of getting scammed, the authenticity scammed. of getting yeah. scammed. Yeah. I actually think you should have another NPC come up and kill it. Nope, you should, have, you should have get Rubel just scripted. Get, kill him, give you your money back, and just have, like... <laughs> real immersive experience with an animation. Uh, we actually don't reimburse platinum. No, nah, we don't. No. Ever. <laughs> no. Ever. Ever. Okay, okay, okay. Then here, I got something for you. You can have the NPC spawn, named the Aruble, and go up to him and say, sorry, we can't help you with this problem. 
<laughs> there you go. That will make you a favorite uh, among Jerobil, the people. A Jerobil NPC pops up and just says, sorry, we don't reimburse Platinum. I have no way to verify that it ever existed. And he just despawns and that's your fucking answer. Oh, people would be so mad. Oh my god, that's what I that's what we tell them anyway, you know what I mean? Like, I know, but if we scripted NPCs to NPC scam them and then that. tell them to screw off. God. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's classic. I, I feel like there's gotta oh. be some people who would appreciate that though, you know what I mean? Um yeah. anyone who read it on R and F, but nobody yeah, who got scammed. There'd be a couple people who, who got scammed for like ten plat and they'd be like, That's fucking hilarious. Wait, you mean someone said they, they were petitioning about their ten plat? No, no, I'm saying oh. <laughs> I'm saying if someone went through this quest script and they lost like 10 plat, they'd probably think it was fucking funny that uh, all yeah. this happened. Yeah, I, I think so too, actually. That'd be really great. I, there's got to be a couple people who'd appreciate that. I know I would, because like, I never cared about platinum because I was always broke as shit and, and could never afford anything on P99, so uh, <laughs> if that happened to me, I'd crack up. I really would. Uh, I can't. I can't afford anything either. I mean, yeah. my bard, my bard isn't even in full lament right now. I was always so fucking broke. Uh, <laughs> having a druid helps, so. Oh, I just, I, I had just a... witnessed the uh, the packet rollover just work. That is so great. Um. Well, I had a good farming class. I still never had any money. And it's not like Secrets just said he plays a bard. He had a good. He has a good farming class too. He had no money. Bard farming class. Yeah, because you can power. I can totally solo King Tyranix, dude. No, you can power level. You can power level, make more money than any of the money camps. Oh, I guess. I mean, you have you have to sell your soul and have no fun ever, but it still works, you know. Oh, selling yourself never hurt anybody. That's funny with the bard though, because you literally are you're selling yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. (laughs) For sure. (laughs) It's a victimless crime. It's funny. Mm -hmm. I love seeing my code work. Oh my. You ever you ever have that feeling? Um, um yeah, I made Hello World, and uh, it felt so good. It, it felt, felt so good. good. That Hello World text popped up. It on popped it. right up. <laughs> like when my compiler worked. It was great. Oh. I ran it in a DOS prompt. It was amazing. This has been eye-opening for me. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm a glorified babysitter and not on the dev side. He's talking about his first Q Basic program by the way everybody talking about my last q basic program he <laughs> <laughs> stopped there it just got too complicated it's like i know my limits <laughs> yeah code and modification uh tell and tell us about that a little bit oh yeah we were wasting all this uh this time all this time on this like, this GF was stuff. not a waste this was valuable information we've been sharing yeah, we have plenty of time. Let's talk about spell stuff. Let's do it. I'm going to throw stuff up on the screen. Um. <laughs> oh, I threw the wrong stuff up on the screen because apparently I'm a dummy. I don't know where I stuck things. All right. So, Talon, I'm going to throw some things on here. And I know there's a delay, so it's going to be uh, kind of hard for you to uh, know exactly what everyone's seen. But, uh, <laughs> you know, like I said, we're starting with the, the uh, reverse alphabetical, starting with wind. And, uh, uh yeah, yeah wind. let's talk. Um, yeah, so, um, a lot of changes to wind, obviously. Uh, I changed the particles. They're actually a lot, uh, they glow a little bit more. You can kind of see the detail. They're and, absolutely uh, brighter. Yeah, um, there's a lot more density. There's a lot more movement. Uh, it kind of makes an X in classic, so that's what I have going on there with the two circles, kind of like crisscrossing. Right. Um... And actually, the sounds change on that too. to a classic. Well, so I don't have the sounds. Is, is this the same particle that happens when you use that PvP bow as a ranger? I I really don't know. I, I, I think mean, it is the knockback. Is this for the knockbacks or? Uh, what bow are you talking about? I'm talking about the the one that has a stun proc on it. Oh, uh, I don't know if that has. I think that just has the little red whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. The little red burst, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I think it looks the same as the T staff proc, but I'm not 100. percent But it's the same effect. I don't know if it's the same uh, spell effect though, like yeah. the visual. Yeah, I, I did make a the fiery adventure. I had to make that one custom. So yeah, there are some weapon procs I did. All, All right. right, that green one. Oh, I'm moving on to uh, the summon one here. 
Yeah, that one's not. A, it's so it's such a wide shot. I couldn't really get it in. But, no, but um, you can see it's thicker. It's the the particles are bigger. They're denser. Yeah. Um, they got more glow to them. Not so pointy. They don't look like the top of a Christmas tree. Yeah, I don't understand those those newer particles. They don't look realistic at all. If there was such thing such thing as magic, I don't think it would look like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah. Um, the cast uh, after the casting effect, the target effect was really cool in that. Um, it was a lot different. Um, I added uh, a lot more, a lot more particles. It goes higher into the air, um, and the sounds different too. All right, I'm moving on to uh, Sal because a I'm just gonna tell everyone right now we call it Sal. B this is the first one. Uh, well, maybe not the best shot. Actually, you know what? I'm skipping Sal. It's very nice, but it doesn't have what I'm immediately oh, the, looking for. you want for. the ending effect? I want, um... Oh, come on. Where is it? I'm gonna find it. Because oh, yeah. I saw it earlier. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. Here we go. I'm moving on to the illusion one. The illusion? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the and, yeah, uh, the hand... Uh, like the, the hands. Thing, the hands. Yeah, they were going backward. They were, And they uh, were they were fading at the hands. They started, like, invisible. Did so you I skip a bunch? Sorry. Sir. I skipped over a bunch because I wanted to talk about this because I thought this gotcha. was really impressive. Okay. Yeah, Sorry. so uh, I fixed the hand to come out correctly, and um, those are all actually different particles, too. They're, they're the classic particles. I had, uh, I had extracted them from the... Uh, the client and so they're kind of the art's basically the same but if you really look at it it's 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 different um and i had a lot this more is actually the, sorry to interrupt you this is actually one of my favorite screenshots of the package you sent me oh really it really is yeah there's a lot more going i mean they they go farther out um i mean nothing it's not a hundred percent there's something missing but i won't tell you what it is but <laughs> <laughs> but trade it, it, secrets yeah um, it, what are you trading me for so <laughs> out of so out of curiosity just to make sure i'm on the same page we are looking at the little green bubble screenshot right yeah the green bubbles yeah green. it's oh, the green. one that's on stream right now so i i think i actually know what's missing um should i say it no secrets no secrets i'll ask you in private tell it later okay all right because i think i know what's missing um but anyway keep going all right um, let me turn that one off because I know I just skipped a, a bunch of them here. Um, C and Viz. C and Viz. I'm gonna bring that one up. Oh, okay. Uh, well, this one, it's not a huge change, but those, the ones on the right, uh, those are the after, and those are the classic particles. They're a little more yellow. Um, mm -hmm. They kind of go out farther. They're smaller. Um, and those large particles that are kind of faint, they blink really fast, and that was completely missing from the effect that was with the titanium client so i like it yeah looks really good oh uh, let's talk about root root yeah so the hand particles obviously go the right direction right. they're not um they don't go in a straight line they kind of flow in different directions um and of course the particles around around the caster they're softer and they go a little higher and fade slowly looking at before and after um it looks like the the one in the before has maybe like a lighter color intensity than the after picture. Did you change the density of the particles as well? Yeah, I, I changed so many things. I changed the for the, the density, the opacity, the rotation, um, the directions. Um, added more than one direction if they could, like mm -hmm. from the hands going in multiple directions and. Um, I, a lot just and where they start and I figured out a lot of things so I was able to change a lot uh, the thing missing from here that I wish I could have gotten was uh, a, there's supposed to be a second layer around the caster on the outside on the outside oh, but yeah. and, and then I would have brought it down a little bit and added two layers but I, I can't I'm limited to four effects so that's the that's the uh, block I, summing block I have you kind of have to compromise with uh, what, what's, what's most, most important. important. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right, right. All right, Talon, we're moving on to Mez. Yeah, that one, as you can see before, the old part or the, well, the new particles were way too bright. You couldn't even see anything. Right. Uh, and they didn't have much of a glow, and the newer ones, they glow really, uh, like, a really intense when they start stacking on each other. Um, it's pretty much the same, the same movement. I just changed the sizes, um, some of the speed, and 
it brought a little bit closer to the character. Mm, um, it looks like uh, it goes up more. The, yeah. the act particles dissipate yeah, they, in the air. Yeah, they do. Yeah, and and by the way, I mean I compare these to um, a client that actually had working particles. So I mean I I actually studied them intensely when I was making these changes. So that, I mean if you could compare it that way. If I could make little videos, you could see the difference too. Studying yeah, intensifies. Uh, Telen, Bobo says that you are amazing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Bobo. Um, he is very amazing. In fact, we're really proud to have him. It's yeah, truth. Absolutely, it's truth. I'm moving on to Immolate. Immolate. Yeah, uh, this is one of my favorite spells for some reason. Just probably because I use it as a druid all the time. Ah, uh, that druid favoritism. Yeah. <laughs> um, Favoritism. The hands were way overdone before uh, and uh, toned those down and uh, the particles around the caster, there's more of them. They're kind of, you can see through them mm -hmm. and uh, and then kind of intensify the center so you can you can see more detail and those little, I don't know what you call them, the, the ones that go up and down, like little diamonds. I like it. You can it. see the yellow in them more. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely can. This this is great. We're skipping illusion because we already did that one. We're moving right on to ice, ice, um, and this is this, a fancy change. Yeah, yeah, that one was really messed up. I didn't understand how that even happened. The, the one of the um, this like the circles they kind of got turned in the wrong direction. Hmm. So right. I was able to yeah I was able to turn that back around and center. Uh, one thing you should notice: everything was off center and the effects that I changed and now they're centered perfectly around the caster so if you spin in a circle nothing's going to kind of rotate oddly um, and then the ice sparkles around the caster they um, they are obviously more opaque and um, they don't move as far um, yeah uh, I don't know and then the biggest change of course is the after effect uh, with the column and everything but I couldn't get it. I couldn't take that many screenshots. <laughs> yeah, that, that that one's actually one of my favorites. Oh uh, yeah, it's nice. And the sound change too. There is a sound change on that. Right, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> by far, by far one of my favorites. I I thought that the old effect was like you said. It was really something very wrong with it. I don't know what happened there. Um, <laughs> it, it something looks, happened. That's looks for sure. much much better now. All right, moving on to heal. Heal. Oh, There's a lot life. more going on here. Well, yeah. yeah, one of my favorites by far. I, I was, it's one of my favorite effects in Classic EverQuest. So, I was excited that I could uh, get to do that. That this is, of course, at the at the beginning of the cast. Um, and for some reason, they took everything away except the hand particles. And um, I was able to make those <laughs> long, uh, and uh, added the globe at thirty nine and the um, circle around the caster at twenty four. Yes, so. yes, that is awesome. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. Uh, that they just had the before was just the hands, you know, and, and there wasn't a whole lot else going on there. Yeah, you didn't get rewarded. One of the things I liked about the old spell effects is that you were rewarded for leveling. Right. You knew right. when you were mid level, you knew when you were high level. Yep. What yep. it looks like there, the one in the, the before picture looks like the, the intensity was scaling with level. It's just that when, when the level went up, they were all kind of bunched in the same place and it really didn't have that much of a change. Yeah. Yeah, much, much better. I, I agree with you. That's also one of my favorites. That one, and then uh, we're going to get to it eventually. Um, I guess I'll hold it till we well, actually... Well, let's yeah. move on to Gate. Yeah, I'm going to wait till I, we actually get to my, my other favorite one. Yeah, Gate didn't change too much. Uh, there wasn't too much to do. I, I mean, these are all the classic particles, so and they had the same art. So uh, they're just a little more... There's a lot more um, density to them. And uh, the level one particles that are like the, the gray particles that are bigger, they go higher. That's the biggest change. So that's why you can't see the character as well. But um, that was that was something that I, I realized was missing. And at the end of this effect, um, I added a large bubble. Like so, like you got you kind of get like enclosed in this large bubble before you disappear. I like which that. was the classic. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's go on to uh, dot. Yeah, and I, I like this spell too, just because I used it a lot as a druid. So, uh, basically, the same, same style. Um, but the globe is denser; it's closer to the character. The hands are a lot different. They're more of a, they kind of create a glow because uh, they're so dense and they're and they're not too opaque. So when they stack, they kind of create this. 
intense glow effect. It actually looks like it's encasing the caster as opposed to just kind of emitting in a circular shape. Yeah, and the right. spheres on the outside look, uh, look they're more subtle and they're not so cartoony. I like that. I and like uh, Talon, is this, this is also the effect used for slow, isn't it? Yeah, for the, yeah, it is. The shaman slow. I don't know about the enchanter slow, but I know the That's correct, shaman yeah. slow. Yeah, it's used for all slows pretty much. Cool, okay. cool. Let's move on to uh, Firebolt. Firebolt. Yeah, this one. Um, yeah, I, I like this spell a lot. Uh, the uh, the hands obviously were way overdone. You couldn't even see anything. <laughs> so uh, I was able to get those to be long, thin strands like they were in Classic, and the globe is a little more dense. Um, you know, basically is changing everything around. Looks very similar, but obviously more mm. uh, de detailed. Reduced, yeah. yeah. I will say now I will be able to identify my attacker on red <laughs> should they finish me with this here spell. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, The buff one looks real nice, too. Yes, this is the other one I was going to say. Is, this is yeah, probably... this is my... My probably favorite my one because it's the biggest difference. Yeah, that's mm. it's probably my favorite one too. I, I really like this one a lot. Yeah, um, before obviously the you couldn't even see the green particles once the orange particles went into effect and they weren't coming out of the hands correctly. Um, and all those particles are the classic particles and I was able to, for this one because I'm limited to four effects, each hand actually counts as an emitter. So I, I had to combine the green and the orange in order to sep um, add the, the blue diamond separately. Uh, so that is the only way I could achieve that effect. Um, but, I mean, at the end, once you're high level, it, it looks good. Yes. See, that was the thing that... Uh, this was always one of my favorites in live because when someone was casting a really high-level buff on you and you were going to get a bunch of HP from it, you knew because their hands just started shooting out fucking rainbows, you know, and you were like, oh damn, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna oh, get a thousand hit points from this person's buff. <laughs> and you, and you knew it because they were, they had all the shit coming out. And then here on P99, uh, you know, once it always they, looked the same. It always looked the same. And once they finished casting, I think it had the multicolored effects around. Um, yeah, it originally, I think, uh, mid level, it added the blue. Particles, yeah, but yeah, it, it was it, a little it bit. It didn't add the orange until level 60. Right, reason. right, right. And it never, I don't think it ever had it shooting out of your hands. I think it just was when the spell completed. It floated. Yeah. It floated, gotcha. Yeah, so that always really bummed me out that that didn't work out. That that didn't work on P99. And the first time I saw it after uh, patching your spell effects, I was like, yes, this is so much better. So much better. I, I think I just sat there casting, like, I'm a Shadow Knight. <laughs> my character, I think I casted Resist Cold on myself a bunch of times. Because that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only that effect. I think maybe. Uh, whatever uh, has it too, but I, I didn't uh, didn't do that one. All right, moving on to uh, burst. Burst. Which one was that? Uh, it's between blind and buff. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. oh yeah, I I don't even know. I mean, I never use this spell as a druid, but I'm like, it was on my bar, so I'm like, oh, I'll do this one too. <laughs> uh, it. Uh, I mean, it's very similar, but it's slightly different. The uh, the orange particles are smaller, and they kind of – and the ground. You can tell on the ground that they're centered, and you can see more of them. They're not hidden by uh, the terrain. Yeah, it looks like the bottom ring is kind of too low on the first one. Yeah. All right, let's move on to blind. It looks tightened up here. Blind. <laughs> yeah, um, this one, the biggest difference is adding uh, – an effect at the feet that go up. Uh, there wasn't a vertical, um, vertical uh, effect, so that kind of makes it look a little more busy, a little more um, high level, um, and of course centered on the caster's feet before the circle was off to the left. Talon, do you remember how long ago these were all patched in? When they changed? Yeah, when players would have noticed the, when players would have noticed. Oh, it. you mean on P ninety nine? Yes. Uh, February of this year. Yeah. So that was, that was the okay. first big change, and then the second big change. Because I've noticed a few people now be like, this is how it's been for me forever. Right. Yep, yep. <laughs> they, yeah, they don't realize that it... <laughs> it's a work in progress, yeah. Yeah. Yep, and it's not uh, part of, like, the last patch, either. This no, is... No, this is was a, there was a... From February. A lot of things changed in December, but the biggest change was definitely in uh, February. 
yeah, that's that's when all the big ones went in, and and people really noticed that it all it all got switched up. A plus. Um, let's move on to bind. Yeah, this one's real subtle. Um, I'm actually not. I mean, I'm not finished with a lot of these spells. I mean, most of them that you showed, I am, but this one um, was not at an angle like it was in classic. You know how it was kind of tilted. I don't know if you remember, but uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. I can't it honestly say that I do. I know it's been a long time, yeah, and so been. it's a uh, now it's tilted again, and uh, of course you can tell definitely at the bottom the ring is centered on the caster, which really bugged me that it wasn't before. You're big on those rings being centered. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's and, okay. It's not a bad trait to have as a yeah, as a dev. Well, and what I realized playing on a classic um, client recently was I'm gonna have to like the hands the those particles around the caster in classic were actually tied to the hand so you got the right hand first and then you got the left hand and i had never noticed that before until and so i started paying attention so i'm gonna have to update that in the future yep i like it let's uh last one i have here is aoe and there are some there are there is something to talk about here yeah that one was really boring i don't know why they would ever make that change <laughs> Uh, it was because just, somebody hated druids. That's yeah. why. <laughs> well, and actually wizards too. Um, yeah, fuck wizards. Just, yeah. Um, the uh, obviously the new if, these particles are actually, I think, usually only used for bard spells um, in titanium, but uh, they were used in this spell in classic. So, and then the floor, the flames, come, the fire coming out of the ground. Uh, that was a really cool effect that they never reproduced, and. Um, there's basically two, two times you get a column at level 24, you get a column that kind of goes a little high and then at 39, you get the one that goes really high into the skies. <laughs> um, so, okay. Um, uh, as somebody who doesn't know how to do any of this, um, like what are, what exactly is the process? Do you like, are you pulling particle effects from other existing spells and just moving them to these spells? Like, what are you what are you actually bit, doing? I was at first, uh, and then I realized that I can just... I, I figured out what uh, the values needed to be and what they meant. Um, were they worth... What things changed um, depending on what number I put in. Mm -hmm. um, at f first, I, I just made some small changes, and then I realized, especially when I extracted the um, classic particles, how much a, a, a difference I can make. Um, it takes, it probably took me over a hundred hours of work to do all this put together. Jesus. Um, so, I mean, it's a slow process because I can't see the changes live. I have to re do, try to remember what everything does. And then I log back in to make sure that the changes that I wanted actually happened. Right. Um, and the, and the missing effects, I mean, that that was really neat because, I mean, you could just see where there was just empty spaces where I could put in the new effects and I could actually, and then I realized I could change what level they appear. Um, and the, but the particle system, it, it uses, uh, I think, a four by four, um, like a, like a, almost like a picture, mm -hmm. like an image. Mm -hmm. So I had to uh, use, I think, a, what did I use? Uh, GIMP. I used GIMP too. And I had to make my own um, spell files so that it could read it the, um, and use the classic particles. Otherwise, it would not have been able to rotate any particles because you can't just use one particle and it, and it won't rot rotate without that. Actually, Tillin, uh, I got something to tell you about the way. Yeah. I made a DLL uh, not the other day the, uh, that it's going to be way easier to just changes with. And uh, I'm probably going to add titanium support to it. You know what it does? What? It removes the whole login process. You just double click on the thing, and you're in world, and you can enter a zone after right after. Don't even need well, to log. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would change a lot of. Uh, after the would... show, I'll get that. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Is there anything else about this? About the spells. Um. Huh? Yeah, about the about the process, because I think there's a lot of people out there who just they see the before and after in game or they don't know right here, work. but they don't actually know what's going on behind the curtain. Like me, I don't know what goes on behind the curtain. You say I rotated 
Uh, I forget oh, which spell oh. it was, but you're like, I got these two blue rings. One of them's vertical, basically, one of them's off center. Basically, I know. Basically, I, I, there's three things I've changed. Uh, uh, the spell effects folder, that's where all the images are. That's where all the artwork is. I had to put uh, custom ones in there so that it'll work. Then I had to, then there's the spells new file, that's an effect file, and then one that's an EDD file. Um, the effect file control, it, it, it basically assigns what effects go with each spell. Mm -hmm. And then the other one controls what the effect looks like. So that uh, that involves changing um, the size, and, you, and there's actually four points you have to change each particle. So it's not just changing the size one time, you have to change each corner, it's like stretching it out. Um, and I mean, all this is in hex, uh, so it's not like just easy numbers, you know. Right, 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 I mean, right. But it's simple. It's really simple for any programmer. I'm not a programmer or a coder or anything. I, this is just something I just forced myself to learn because I really wanted it done. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, you did. You did amazing things here. I know there's Thanks. lots of people who who love it and have no idea that you are the one behind it. And I know there's other people who have just started playing since February and have no idea what it was like beforehand. But as someone who's been here over three years, let me tell you, oh shit, even longer, because I was a player before I was on staff. <laughs> as someone who's been here for way too long, let me tell you, they look nice as shit. And I'm happy we have someone like you doing shit like that. Yeah, uh, there's, there's actually things I want to work on uh, in the future. Uh, well, I've already worked on some of them. That would be the um, sky. I want the sky to look more uh, classic. And uh, maybe some of the weather effects, if I get into that. I, I know there's some things that you can change to make it more classic. Um, I know in classic, like, the weather was more intense a little bit. Like, it was harder to see when it was raining. Those, those, those are the kind of things that um, I like to fix. Oh, don't tell people that. People, people will hate <laughs> you. <laughs> He's trying to make it harder to see? Fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, He's the man. worst. Oh yeah, they don't they don't like the classic changes when it makes life less easy. Oh, and a few random. Oh, I forgot some of the big things. I forgot. Uh, I did the fire, the dragon breaths. I, I recreated those before when you were raiding. You know, um, none of the dragons had any visual effect when they did their um, spell casting. Mm -hmm. So I was able to fix that. Uh, oh. The hardest one to do was Vox because she has a unique. Uh, look uh, with the it's because she's a female and females yeah, make well, everything more difficult, difficult yeah, yeah. <laughs> cookie yeah. just flew out of my mouth while I was saying that I have cookie all over now and I, I, we didn't have I didn't have a snow like there were no snowflakes other than the weather snowflake which was not the right snowflake and I eventually found it like digging through the client files I found a little snowflake a snowflake and I was able to use <laughs> that to recreate the uh, box's effect Oh, um, I also yeah, removed I... bubbles from the game, underwater bubbles, and I removed the level up of graphic. Mm -hmm. And I think one more thing, I can't remember what it is. Oh, uh, when you uh, when a corpse decays, I removed the sparkles. You're going to hate me for this, by the way, but the effect on leveling up was just a service I changed that Rogan never did. The effect on what? Leveling up. Oh, really? You mean the yellowy yeah. shit? The yellowy shit, yeah. You, so you, he could have done it? He could have just commented a line of code out and it would fix it, but... Oh, well, I had to do it the hard way. <laughs> it wasn't hard. <laughs> well, there you go, fix. then. Let's work with Rogan. Um, I, yeah, I really actually wanted to highlight the, the dragon breaths because I know that we don't have a screenshot of that. Um, I'm actually yeah, in... Yeah, I completely forgot to get one. Yeah, I'm in permafrost right now. I'm going to see if I can't get uh, box... Well, I need to see if anybody's in the zone yeah, first. Yeah, I can't. I think the... Yeah, there are people in the zone. Okay, well, I guess I can't spawn a well, box here. Well, wait. Well, maybe. I mean, what are they doing? They're a bunch... Are they actual, like... Uh, no, because look... Can you summon? Listen. Are, are they, is it booted on beta? It doesn't matter, because... No, perma's not open on beta. Oh, but... Not even um, for GM? No, the only no. not zone, Velia zones, are North Row and Arena. Right. Um... <clears throat> But the 53 plus or 52 plus can't engage her anyway. And that 54 and 55 duo ain't going to take on Box. We could just do it quickly and then depop her. And if yeah. nerds fire off bat phones, that's their problem. We don't tell them to poop sock around clock yeah, with bat no, phones. Okay. Yeah, We're doing right. things. You know, I got you. Okay, let's do it. Let's um, do it. 
Let me get up into, uh, uh, what are the fucking, oh, I can't know what they're called. Oh, uh, you know what would be so troll? Get people to, uh, do the bat phones, then depop her. Well, I mean, well, they I might. Mean... We're not gonna purposely try to get the bat phones called out, well, but if they're if they're you can spawn they're watching the stream. Ants. It's like they're watching the stream right now. So if, if they're they if should they're, be, because then just, they'd know uh, not to bat phone. Just go to me, Circa, and I'm standing right in the middle of office. Um, all right, but it's too late because I already did permafrost. Oh well, then just go to me once you get into permafrost. You're not the boss of me. Well, I'm, gonna turn your I'm gonna go to an ice giant. I guess you could go to an ice giant, but that's what I did, and it took. Here. There you guys, go. Guys, guys. I you just went to you. I'm just being right. difficult. Uh, you guys can turn yourself into Vox and then just use the spell. Can you pound cast or no? Yeah, you can do NPC cast. Uh, I think it's 861. Why are you it's trying to like... take all the fun out of know. what we're doing here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's God. going to... I mean, I guess it probably would. It will, yeah. I don't know what the dragon model is, though. There's a generic dragon model for Vox and Megafin and a bunch of oh, others. Oh, well, she like, probably yeah. just spawn a Vox then. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Okay. Cost. He also caused the uh, ice giants to cast it, which would look right. weird. Um, uh, I can't attack this. I got level to 52 first. Level <laughs> 52, fine spell, JT. You are too pass. powerful. 3716, so I don't fucking oh, there, die. Oh, Thanks, Lady JT. Vox. Vox. EverQuest, uh, where you kill Lady Vox. EverQuest, where you poop in a sock. Oh my god, this is gonna be interesting. Alright, let's see this here. You're gonna solo Lady Vox? Yes, absolutely. With All my right, let's see this. Here it goes. You know what would be the best thing? I should have gotten all the forgot his spells, spells particle files. Oh, I green missed Brock. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, here, let me cast the resist cold real quick, you know, so you can show off that a little bit. <laughs> Vox definitely needs a resist cold. Without a doubt. Yeah. She doesn't seem to be casting her Frost Breath. No, but she should at some point. And we should come on... Unless it, that... Who knows? It could have gotten bugged out. She might not be casting her Frost Breath right now. Because she yeah, definitely... Your, part, your particles are low. She definitely oh, should have been. Oh, let me check. Are they? Display. Oh, they are. Whoops. Oh. Yeah, they always are, but... Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, there's, there's a fear... Oh, oh God, it didn't turn on walk. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, it looks like you're gonna... Oh, that would be hilarious if you train the other group that's in there. Oh, that would be so A+. Plus. Oh, no. <laughs> you should probably be invulnerable. Probably. <laughs> well, he is, pretty much. He has, he has I JT have JT buff. Oh, JT buff. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, but yeah. you're not immune. Yeah, but I... <laughs> Didn't want to turn on invulnerable just in case some uh, somebody really stupid steps into this room. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I just saw it. Yeah, there it is. See, there's the frost breath. Oh, uh, uh, the frame rate. I mean, like it has. To, there it goes. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. So yeah, I thought that that was really cool the first time I saw that because yeah, none of these dragons had breath breath attacks. Um, wow. Right for great. a long time on P99 um, until <laughs> Talon came in and gave him gave him some actual uh, some thunder. There's another one. Frost breath just fired off. Oh, and, and by the way, Sirkin, yeah, buddy. I, want you, I want you to link this on stream for me because I finally got no bug to make this switch. Go ahead and click on that uh, that link right there. Show everybody what the, the usable races on that weapon are. Um, um, where did you link it? I sent it you a tell. Oh, <laughs> derp. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. What about it? <laughs> so, uh, so it used to be usable by every Shadow Knight race. Oh, that's, that's, that's not that's not fucking classic. So that's not I got, classic. Oh, I showed well. I went back and I went to the Wayback Machine and showed Nobog it was XR only, and uh, he switched it for me. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, like, really, all those non XR Shadow Knights with that no drop sword are gonna hate yep. you. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. No, I don't think any of them even have it. I don't know why they'd even get it. Is the Circin Cat for Girdle a real item? No, no. What? It'd be, great. It'd be great if it was, but no, it's not. <laughs> oh. you, you, have you ever heard of that, Circuit? No. Yeah, he has. Uh-uh. Swish, Swish linked it for you, you dork. You oh, well, I don't remember it. 
It's a silken cat for a girl, but it looks like Sirkin. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill uh, Vox by myself. Well, Do you actually, want me to help wait, you? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I got a bunch of really crazy ass weapons in my bag here. Maybe I can. What about Soul Devourer? Um, I no, I don't. Um, actually, I can. What do about more. a BFG? I can, I can do better than that, actually. Surprisingly enough, hold on. I feel you like I should. Pop? Ancient Frost. No, it's a uh, Ancient Frost Reaver, which is a 192-23 delay <laughs> weapon. <laughs> oh, the Ancient Frost Reaver isn't that? For, that's not classic though. You need to get rid of that thing. That is not classic at all. And, and it's one hand. It's one hand slashing too. Which that's is from weird. Depths of Dark Hollow. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I can't say uh, the dragons in um, Velia, so uh, the uh, the wyverns or the, what are they called? The worms, the worms. They actually do the frost breath too. The worms. Yeah, I think I think. What zone is that? Gosh, Great Divide. Those things. Uh, mm. the worms in Great Divide. We're gonna think... have Mistmore come back. Yeah, they they do it too. So. You guys remember the Mistmore event? Um, are you talking about Mayong Miss Moore? Yeah. I was not for any of those. I know, <laughs> I was. I need. We need to just resurrect him for a GM event. We could. I used to spawn him in the... In CS Home, I spawn NPCs of all the staff. And I used to spawn Mayong Miss Moore in the middle as if we were, like, oh, well. circling and gaining up on him. I have a lot of fun when I'm by myself. Yeah, he really does. I play, like, I just make NPCs and, like, fucking essentially play dolls with everybody on oh, staff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Turn Derubal into Race 252. Um, what is Race 252? Is that... I can't not listen red, to a guest. Oh, red, it's red, the red. castle. Oh. <laughs> I have a I character... Can't even, I can't even see myself anymore, goddammit. I have a character named UFO that is okay. that race and he just flies around spinning through playing the sky like a ufo oh man it's it's a plus <laughs> there you go yeah it's the, it's the castle though mm -hmm. uh, i saw it right before have, he fell under do you have access to the where change command um, i don't what is the think where so. change command uh pound wc what does it actually do it changes oh, I do. the appearance of the equipped item Oh yeah, yeah. So you try, that. yeah, try uh, like seven two fifty. No, seven, I'm scared to mess with that. I don't just know. Just go, go ahead, go ahead, do it on the ruble. All right. right. WC what seventy two fifty? No seven space two fifty. There you go. Oh damn. Oh, well, I have a lollipop <laughs> now. That's, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> do we need to give that to you, Nomia? Oh, she'd love that. <laughs> no, I think she'd probably punch us both in the fucking balls. Uh, she might. Oh, yeah. She might. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she would, actually. <laughs> uh, I think that's amazing. 198 is too good as well. 198. 198. 198. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, that's just the... Uh, yeah, yeah. The BFG. The BFG. I've, I've had oh, don't let her heal. I used to be able to assign, like, uh, with the Luckland models, especially Frog Lux. Did oh, it just complete yeah, heal? Yeah, oh, regain concentration. Fish. Complete oh heal. God, what a punk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can change your chest item, which I think is, like, texture zero or one, to one of the Luckland lances, and it'll look like you have a dong on your <laughs> Luckland models. What? Which is the greatest thing in the world. Man, there used to be this bug on Alive uh, with the, the new Luckland troll models where the chest plate, if you got into an area that was too small to stand up in and then crouched with the chest plate, okay. it would just like, it would just suddenly like invert itself and like be horizontal out in front of you. And it, it literally looked like you just had like a, a giant armor around your fucking, your giant troll dong, basically. It was the most ridiculous armor glitch that I've Let me seen. Let this on uh, the stream real quick. I actually have a picture of it. I can't remember what the where change for it was, but here we go. I'm going to post it. Um, it's very Oh, that shield looks awesome. But it's, it's not, like, not safe for work or anything, so there you go. Uh... It's the bucks. best thing ever. Bucks, it just like sit still for a minute. 
Vox stay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not exactly how it works. It kind of works. No, Can't you just no. member her real quick? No, but I don't want her to regen health. I just want her to sit the fuck still. There, I posted it in stream chat. I think she's immune to all this crap. <laughs> Nick says you don't know how to push. How am I supposed to push with my little my twenty three lollipop? Delay, <laughs> my twenty three delay lollipop. Yeah. You also cast, right? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so I want you to try and cast Avatar Knockback on Durable. Oh, don't do that. I already know what that does. Don't do that. <laughs> that, that. No, I'm not doing it. It sends me flying across the room. Mm -hmm. It does like two points of damage as well. It's the, the craziest That's what, knockback. Uh, knockback isn't that the me. effect of the BFG? It's no, not, but they're, no. They're, very similar. Okay. they're very similar. But the Avatar Perfect. knockback is stronger. Mm. How much mana does this thing have left? I've seen Nilbog boot players out of the tunnel with his BFG. Oh my god, it has so much mana. <laughs> That's A+. plus. Yeah, so you guys still hear it, but the stream doesn't hear any of my disgusting coughing or choking. Your horrible I, habits. I, I yeah. mute. I have, like, two. I've actually done it once tonight, because I've been coughing. Yeah, you know, I'm all about the mute button, and I, su I support its use. It will be used in all of the streams. That is great. And if I forget, I'm going to have to thing. edit it out. Mm. So... As much fun as I'm having watching you solo Lady Vox. <laughs> You're gonna have to her, yeah. We're going to do a quick update. I'm going to get it out of the way. I know nobody cares about it, but we're going to do it real quick like a Band-Aid. Everybody, I made the playoffs in fantasy football. I secured a first oh, round Lord. bye in week 14 and secured the week 15 game. We are in week 15 right now, and I'm up by five points, and he's got no more people left, so I'm winning. I'm going to the championship next week, guys. Go Sirkin. Go circus. Who's your quarterback? My quarterback is Aaron Rodgers. He's coming off the worst game of his professional career, and I believe he's going to bounce back big next week to make up for it. I'm about to say, if you if you told me Tony Romo, I would just hang up on this call right oh, now. Oh, no, no. I can't go with a guy that can't win in December. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> he won yesterday. Uh, whatever. Anyone, every, every, even every, a, every a broken won. clock is right twice a day. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> That's my uh oh, man, I love that thing. So that's my sports update for everybody. All right. Um did you wanna did you wanna talk about the music? Or oh shit, I forgot there? all about the music. Let's what music. Oh, we're gonna music. Oh shit, how am I gonna put this on stream? Mm. Well, you don't have to play I'm not, it. but we can put the link in stream and they can click yeah. on it. Yeah. The Lincoln stream? You're linking us Lincoln Park? What? No. It's classic. It's, no. I don't even feel like it's classic. So I'll tell you the backstory to it. Uh, the theme music to Caliphant is my favorite um, song in EverQuest. And I also play piano. Um, so And I play by ear. So I was able to play that theme on my keyboard. And um, I posted on YouTube and it actually got the attention of SOE. Mm -hmm. And uh, Linda mm -hmm. Carlson invited me to go to Las Vegas and perform, and I, I couldn't. I was way too nervous, and I had to work oh. anyway. That was my excuse. <laughs> oh. Helen, I know. I, I, oh. I know. I missed what? that opportunity. I had no what? idea this was you when I first saw it posted on the forums. Yeah, I had no idea it was you at all. And you know what? Oh. We're going to SOE Live next year together, and we're doing that. Okay. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, uh, but, yeah, uh, she, they were really cool about it. Uh, I They did feature about 20 seconds of the video at SOV Live when they announced that request next. Um, and of course, they couldn't announce it on their Twitter or social media because it probably had a P99 link on it or something. <laughs> well, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. Uh, on my official YouTube page, I didn't uh, link P99 just because. Oh, really? I, yeah, because I didn't want them to take it off their website. Yeah. 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 Um, good, thinking. Case, you know. good thinking. Good <laughs> thinking. Yeah, good things. Good things. Yeah, so uh, it was the first uh, player, stu like they have a player studio thing where they have people send in their videos. I was the first one. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's. I mean, getting the now. attention of so of Sony is a huge privilege, especially considering they made the game what it is, even if they made it what it is today. I like it. I'm even going to throw that link in the description when I turn this into a YouTube video. <laughs> That is cool. great. I'm gonna tell nerds to click on it. <laughs> I am I am very impressed by that 
It's uh, good. It's really good. I mean, there's not much else to say. I'm really impressed, and that's probably... You play that by ear, or...? Um, well, I mean, with the... Uh, I, I do usually play by ear, but this one, I was able to get the... I was able to watch it visually play. I, I never got it into sheet music, but... You know, so it's just, it took some memorization, but it was it was worth it. Oh, someone said K- Kelithin as um as Kelithin. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I think it was me. I think it was me. I'm I'm just gonna put that out there. It's Kinos. Kinos. Kino. It is Kinos. It I, is Kinos and nope. lower. Yep. No, nope. yep. I don't yep. care. You know what? I I told I told people that it was not. Well, that's because you tell people the wrong thing all the time. <laughs> they have voice acting. That's you that's, that's your mo. Luckland. They're all saying it wrong. Kinos. Everyone at Sony's saying it wrong. Wait, what did they say? Kinos. Kinos. They're saying. What do you say? Wrong. I say Quinos. Oh, I've heard it both ways. So. Yep. I also say Sal instead of. Uh, I, I say actually I say Sal. Good. You gotta go. They actually had a. Uh... You gotta go watch uh, the what's the documentary uh, that uh, Jace Hall did, Evercrack or something like that. Yeah. You go watch Evercrack. They you have all the Sony, the original Sony devs pronouncing Kinos. Yeah. They're all saying it wrong. Every you know single why one they of them. Said, uh, you know why they said uh, like they had that? Uh, you, they had something in EQ2 where they said it was the Kinos Claymore, like Kinos. I just typed it in chat. But uh, Kinos, and they they were making fun of the Kinos Claymore in EQ2, and one of the NPCs was, and you could hear them say it like that. So, yeah. Yeah, they're all saying it wrong. I'm going to have to write them a formal letter or all right, something. All here, right, here's the better one. Is it So or Sal? Oh, it's Sal. Women So. Druid Sal. <laughs> what about women druids? Um, They can do both. They can okay. do both. Maybe they're good with a needle. <laughs> but uh it's druids like, cast out what what are you talking women about? <laughs> sew things with needles no i i know man i got it i i understood yes yes that's we're, a thing. we're on we're on the level right now i get it i, just, I also say uh, lucklin and i know that's right because we asked before that pantheon interview you know there's a there's a feminist somewhere in the audience who wants to decapitate you right now um that's okay i'm uh i'm the opposite side of that fence and i'll probably want to decapitate her too so it's mutual feelings. It's mutual. Yeah. Oh damn! Yeah. Shots fired. Yeah. I, Shots I, fired I, at the entire gender. What if it's oh I, shit? I, 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 the entire wow. gender. I I don't know if you want to be doing that. That's what I'm doing. I'm firing shots um, at the entire don't gender. Do that. Shots damn. fired. Dude, that. Can't take them back. You want to walk away right now, man? You. I'm not walking away. I got wheels. I'm not even wheeling away. I'm sitting right here. You can just damn, dude. I don't even know what to say right now. Well, uh, he's the one who thinks all women play healers too. Wow. Yeah, you're in trouble, man. You're in a lot of trouble. That's okay. I'll take it. I feel it's well deserved. I have a long Why? list of compl- I have a long list of complaints that I'm gonna file with somebody against that entire gender at some oh, point in my damn. life. Oh I just my need God. enough free time to sit down do you, and write do you the letter. Hear that? Do you hear that, women? You're gonna answer for your crimes. You're against all people. getting suspended. Every I single dude, one of you. For a single Jewish woman, anyway. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna suspend every one of them, and I'm gonna put them all in the corner oh and make God. them think about what they've done. This is, we're entering uncharted territory right now. <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's let's back up um, a little bit here. I tried to make um, enchiladas, and I realized that uh, somebody told me that enchiladas are basically like tacos, but then you throw some sauce and some cheese on them and bake them. So they didn't specify they're, what they're more sauce. Like, they're more like burritos with, with sauce. And well, stuff. they said tacos, so I made tacos. And they didn't say what sauce, so I went in my refrigerator. I tried to get creative. I found some A1. I threw that on there. I threw some cheese on there. I baked it. And you know what? It wasn't very good. It wasn't very good at all. <laughs> uh, what else did I do? I made ravioli tacos with Chef did Boyardee you, ravioli. Did you that actually, was a horrible mistake. Did you use... Uh, did you use like enchilada sauce? You know. No, I used a one sauce. A one, yeah. No, that was that was your mistake. That um, might have been where I went wrong with the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Enchiladas are shockingly easy. I'm actually not sure how you screwed that I up. I didn't but... know enchilada sauce was an actual thing. They just yeah. said sauce, and I was for, like, for, I got for some somebody sauce. for somebody who likes tacos and Mexican food so much. I don't know how you can be so clueless about about Mexican food. Like, I don't get it. 
Well, I, it's because I've never had anyone story. show me, I think. I don't know I'll any Mexicans. Story. There's a place called, I think it's like Buffalo Wing House or something like that. I don't know. But there's a place near us that was like a sports bar that had Buffalo Wings. Is it Buffalo Wild Wings? <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I was there the other day. I'd never been there in my life. Mm-hmm. And my friend Lots. said to try the, the hot sauce there. <laughs> what a mistake. Oh. oh, what what a hot sauce do they have? Oh, they probably they had, just have they pure had, uh, capsaicin about, extract or nope. something. They had this thing where they had varying levels of sauce you could request on the menu. Right, right. And and you can uh, get like mild or hot sauce or extreme sauce. My friend's like, you should try the extreme sauce. I'm like, oh, you know, I've had Mexican food in the past. And like, this, this can't be that idea. bad. That's yep. great. They, apparently, they have sauce engineers that just, you know. <laughs> Yeah, what what they do is they take this is stuff called, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right, capsaicin extract. Yeah. Uh, capsaicin extract. Capsaicin is the stuff that gives peppers their their spice, their heat. Uh, so it's basically just pure spice, uh, in in chemical form. So they they I take love that spice. and they make sauce out of it. Um, I love spice too, but this the the spice that they use on on with this capsaicin extract when it actually is put into food, it has no flavor. It doesn't actually add anything. It doesn't actually add anything to the meal. It's literally just heat yeah. and wow. nothing else. Yeah. Um, That's kind of what I experienced. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty bad. I've had some before with this place called The Wing Dome. Uh, you get like a t-shirt or something if you eat six of their hot wings. And me and a buddy went there and did it six? a few years back. Yeah, you know, you get a little basket. I feel of like six, six isn't a lot. Oh, trust me. When, when, when you're eating a, a sauce that literally will give you second degree burns in your throat, <laughs> six is a lot. Trust mm. me. Okay. Um, it's the sauce. The sauce the will actually do that. Um, it's pretty brutal. It's the sauce of all our problems. <laughs> oh, well played, okay. sir. Well played. I'm uh, I'm done with this whole box thing. <laughs> uh, I think you can kill her. Just keep trying. Well, I can. I just it's just I'm tired of it healing. Just put her in the wall like uh, TMO used to do. It's fine. Oh, shots I don't want, fired. I don't want to. I don't want to exploit. Oh. Oh, all right, I'm leaving. Where should You're I leaving? go? Well, uh, I'm leaving permafrost. Goodbye, Sirkin. Good, Good luck. Good luck in your journey. <laughs> 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 Straight over. <laughs> I think uh, you're just dancing now. That would be the best way ever to quit staff, just right in the middle of a stream. Like, just, I'm out. Boom. Goodbye, <laughs> everyone. Just hit the mute button and walk I away. I my people need me. <laughs> My people need me. Uh, so, wh- where did everybody start on live? I-, I haven't really heard the stories. What server and stuff? Oh man. Um, I don't I... think we've ever hashed over this topic before. I started on Valenzac. That's my my original home server. I didn't I realize there were non PvP servers until the best of the best. Nice. Very yeah. nice. This is how I got introduced to EverQuest. I was, I think, nine or ten, and I was like middle, or right before middle school. I was in elementary school. My friend tells me on the playground of all places, "Hey, you can play this game called EverQuest. You can kill rats and sewers and stuff." <laughs> excellent, that's excellent. a good selling point. And selling so point. I was like, "This is like the best thing ever." Like, a, like nine-year-old me is like, "Hey, I'm gonna try this out." Little did I know, it's I, I start playing, and it was like. This is the most awful game I've ever played, but I love it. I was oh, on yeah. and... I remember when uh, all the magazines called EverQuest, like, Rat Hunter and stuff. That was so... It was, it was like, uh, one of the biggest jokes in gaming, because everybody was so addicted and hooked on it when it came out. But yeah, it was just... fours. Like, people don't remember when it was rats. Yeah, for the first, like, ten levels, all you did was kill rats and bats and shit. People called it, like, Rat Hunter and, like, Bat Exterminator and shit. And, like, that was this big joke that went around the the gaming world. And now people are saying you have to kill a bunch of wild boars in World of Warcraft. And it's like, Mm -hmm. no one one remembers the day when we had to kill rats. No one remembers those ghosts. No one remembers those dark days when we ran around killing snakes and rats in EverQuest. No, I, I, actually, <laughs> I was 12 when I first when I started, and uh, it was actually my dad who played a lot, and I didn't play so much, but I eventually became addicted. Um, I think it was January 2000 when I started, so that was right after. Is that Kunark? It was right when Kunark came out. I got it finally. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry. I, I was on the sheet, I, but that's I was on the Sarian server if anybody anybody played on that. Sarian or Sarian? Sa Sarian. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know how to I, yeah. What's the I first go. letter? Is it an X or an S? No, oh, S A R Y N. Gotcha. Sarian. Sarian. And Leviathan29, thanks for following. And everyone else, sorry, I probably didn't say it. I was all balls deep in our story time. But now I'm not. No, no problem. Like, I don't think these guys mind. They, they press the follow button, and if you, if you say thanks for following, uh, that's great. I mean, you don't have to make yourself into the center of attention. But, I mean, it is your stream, but, you know. That's what I do. That's what I, I do. I put well, a big spotlight on me, like, and I let me just let me just say I really don't understand why people are so self-absorbed in their streams. Like, thanks for following, guys. Thanks. Oh, thanks for the five dollars subscription. Like, thanks, well, guys. Oh, well, look. they should say thank you if you're if you're getting money from I, them. I, I know, but you you know they're so self-absorbed in it, and like they say no. thank you like nonchalantly, and then they move on to the next topic. It's like. Thanks, guys. Okay, so this is what I'm doing on World of Warcraft or League of Legends, and they just keep going with it. Like, I I really don't understand stream culture. Um, I mean, I'd say an even bigger mystery than that is... Actually, no. I'm not going to talk shit about people that watch streams. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, because you know what? I love those people. They're amazing and great and wonderful. <laughs> They're the best people. <laughs> We've had this conversation. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand why why people spend $5 on a stream. I mean, they get a little symbol that says Kappa on it or something. It's like, Ooh. why? Oh, are you talking about the subscription stuff? Yeah, the subscription stuff, specifically. Like, thanks for the subscription, guys. And you know guys why? It's willing. because they want to feel cool and they want to partake people in the subscription. People make off of this. And yes. Maybe it's part jealousy. I don't know. But They want to partake in the chat room stuff. They want to feel cool and special, and they want to hope somebody on the stream will see them in the chat room and you be like, do that at blah, the blah, bar blah, too. blah, 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 blah. No, you can't do it at the bar. There's no one in F E famous at the bar. E I might be. Man, that's great. If you're getting subscription, if you are, if people are like, paying you people, for shit online. You're some level of e famous. Like I really, I really don't understand it. Like why? Well, that, if, can, can, why can't I just walk up the street and say, "Hey, look! If you like what I'm doing here, if you like how I walk down the street, like and subscribe." People do that shit in Chicago all the time. There's people banging on buckets. There's like people playing. Though. They got no, there. They, they, they quietly sure are asking with yep, that yep, uh, with yep. that hat full of change at the bottom. Like they're asking, they're looking at you like, "Give me some money." I'm not saying it oh with my, my words, but listen to my eyes, listen to my buckets. I guess. I guess that makes sense. I, I mean, why complain about giving people money? It's because I'm not the, on the receiving end of it. Maybe that's why. Oh well, those people do obviously don't have cable, so I mean that's well, their well that's that, entertainment. That's, that's their entertainment. Yeah, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the salt is real though. Oh, I, I am very salty when it comes to streams because, like, I, I just don't understand the culture as a person. Part of it's jealousy, part of it's not understanding. And... Oh, well, <laughs> I've learned that you don't have to understand it to appreciate it. Yeah, that's that's what I've come to understand too. That's why I'm sitting here on a stream talking while forty-five people sit at home without without anything else. Probably all tab like EverQuest. <laughs> Check it on their Lord Nagafin camp, and you know, I'm, we're okay with that. I'm, I'm okay with that too. Like, I, I, am glad they're finding a, an outlet for what they to pass time. It's just, I, I just wouldn't do it myself. I can hear you. Um, so I was going to tell you some more stories about my beginning days of EverQuest. Give me your beginning okay. days. We went off on a, on a tangent there. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> about 30 days after I started playing, um, my, uh, my dad and I made this, like, I guess, uh, EverQuest friend, and she, was, she played from California. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, apparently, because she messed up when she started her character, she was at, I think she was level 51, uh, a druid at the time. Oh, shit, I found um, She messed up. She didn't add enough wisdom. So she's like, I'm going to start over, and you can have my account. So she just gave us her account. And so here I was, only a 30-day noob with a 51 druid, and I, it was it was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I, I think I went around um, buffing everybody, and uh, and then I, then I went on a raid 
didn't know what I was doing, obviously. <laughs> Went on, um, and in the middle of the raid, I had to leave, so I, I told my dad, to just play this, you know, you can figure it out. Well, when I handed it over to him, I forgot to mention that I had binded myself in permafrost, and not knowing the game, really, I didn't realize that I had, like, he ended up dying when he ran into, like, that that, that trap at the bottom. Oh, nice. So when he spawned, he spawned right on top of an ice giant. <laughs> yes. So he was in a death loop for about five minutes. And Amazing. It, yeah, he was very upset. And uh, <clears throat> he, yeah, he called me and was like, what the hell? <laughs> He's like, I lost your level. And uh, yeah, you're not. Yeah. But eventually he, had, he just had to pull the plug in order to stop the death loop. But it was really funny. <laughs> oh, death loops are fun. But after that, I got really addicted with that druid. I, I think I was like, I was in school, I was in middle school at the time, and I would actually get up at 6 a.m. just to play for an hour. And then on yeah. weekends, I would be up until like 3 or 4 a.m. in the middle, or sometimes the sun was coming up and I was still playing. Uh, it was crazy. Oh, actually, I was in, in high school, I was still, I think, ninth grade, and I actually had installed EverQuest on the school's computers. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so stupid, and so we were like, when we were bored, we would play it. Some some people. So, how did you get away with playing EverQuest at school? Uh, I had a way with the teachers. <laughs> Dude, yeah, people got away with playing a lot of fucking games at all kinds of, all kinds of stuff you would not believe on us. Oh school man, you guys teachers suck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they walk around and see what's on kids' screens? Sometimes. Like, hmm, that sure doesn't look like Microsoft Office. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I spent a lot of time in, uh, like, when I was at my vocational tech school, mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time just trying to tether into my cell phone, like an old Nokia cell phone, at oh, the, my today's hilarious. standard, and I would get on Eco Emulator on, like, Scorpius 2K or something. It was great. <laughs> I think I, I first saw EMU um, back in 2004. I played around with it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was a lot. I don't. I was like a little thing back then. Um, I I I found muds to play on. I played on muds in I don't know junior high or something like that on the school computers. I couldn't get EQ on there, so I took the next best thing. Also, someone wanted to hear me apparently, so I'm here. Oh no. <laughs> oh god damn it. Yeah, I'm here. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I don't mean yeah. to laugh, it's just so awesome that you could just flip that on out of nowhere. Oh, you mean that I could just switch him in sentence like this? <laughs> mm-hmm. Kind of my mind just kind of, like, explodes whenever I hear it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> can it's you okay, picture, just... can, you can picture my brain on the back, like, behind my computer chair, I'm sure. <laughs> wow. I, I can't. I, I really can't, no. <sighs> it's too bad. So, earlier, when you were talking about banding at the beginning, I was thinking, have you ever been asked the question, um... Have you ever done anything that was wrong on live and never got caught? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh hell yes. Absolutely. I, I got caught once, too. I, I exploited the shit out of pathing as much as I could. Yes, absolutely. Horrible pathing exploits. Oh, in <laughs> fact, there, I still know one in high keep right now that you can do like 10 levels on uh, that you should never be able to do, and it's, mm. it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> and it works, it, pretty, it works on P99, too. Kind of my favorite uh, one wait maybe it doesn't something. it might have been fixed sorry i didn't mean to go ahead no, no, that's okay uh i'm just saying my favorite exploit on live that i've ever done was it's a tie between the sharks and the kino sewers who that would get stuck inside the geometry and not attack back yes. <laughs> um it would be a tie between that and the time that they let the nexus npcs be attacked i still have the st crystal staff of the nexus on my dream <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, for oh, a day man. and you could actually pl place it in your guild hall, which is the best part. I just have it set in my personal house. Oh, <laughs> there's people talking about Oregon Trail in chat. Oregon Trail was so good. Or wait, wait, say it one more time for me, buddy. Say it again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, can I hear that one more time? That Oregon Trail. The what? The what? The what trail circuit? Oregon, Oregon Trail. The Oregon, Oregon Trail. Oregon. Or the Oregon. Oregon. The Oregon Trail. What? Why are you nerds <laughs> making fun of my words? What's going on here? Let's, let's have Rogan say it. Let's say Ro have Rogan come in here oh and say it then. Oh my god, that's good. That's good. Say it. What am I saying wrong? 
<laughs> no, it's fine, man. It's the Oregon Trail. It's no problem. I hate all of you. I mean, I know. I hate all of you I so hate, much. I live, I live north of Oregon. It's fine. <laughs> I hate all of you. Yeah. Is that, is that right near Air Force, Pennsylvania? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Absolutely. <laughs> You're all assholes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. All right, so what else we got to talk about tonight? Um, let's see, let's see. Damn, we've actually been on here for. We've been we've been going for a minute. Um, trying to think. I'm trying to think if I... anything exciting happened to me today. I want to PK somebody. I want to. I need PVP. God damn it! And I can't play on the wall. PVP server. Um. There's the TAC project. I mean, talk about that. Talk about that. Let's talk about the TAC project, because I'm sure there's people who uh, are absolutely interested in that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, basically what TAC project it stands for the Al Cabar project, which Al Cabar, and I'm sure people are going to make fun of how I say that, <laughs> is uh, it, it's a server that, that the EverQuest for Macintosh was actually based on. And EverQuest for Macintosh as you might know, was stuck in Planes of Power since about 2002 and had very many updates over the years. There is main, maintained by a single Sony developer who took it up as his pet project. So, um, yeah, it was, it was really uh, interesting that Sony would keep a server running up until 2011. They shut it down because, well, people started hacking it. And I took it upon myself to make an emulator for it. And, you know... I thought it was a really great thing to just preserve the history, and by doing so, I messed around with maybe the network layer for a little bit, started making a little pet project, and what happened is I made the, the, the Akaba project with a couple of people from the Project EQ project, which seeks to emulate live. So with a bunch of people with a common with common goals, we were able to make this project, which is complete preservation project, much like P99 is the classic, this is to the EQ Mac server. So, the interesting... Which was obviously... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I, go ahead. I was, I was just going to say, it's a really tight community, because they were around for so long. They are. Uh, they had guilds like Temerity, The Horde, a bunch of other guilds. Uh, I'm probably forgetting a lot of them, because I didn't play on there that long. No, unfortunately, it's not PvP. Yeah, those are the only questions you could probably think of because, well, that's the only question I get as well. Is it PvP? And the answer is no. Uh, you could take the code, which is available on GitHub, and make your own uh, PvP server with the code, but... I'm not actually sure because... Don't take this for as like official word because I'm not actually on the GM server staff or anything like that for that project. I just do the code. Yeah, personal opinion. I think they're gonna open with planes of power, uh, or but only the plane of knowledge, only the XR starting zone, and only the Vashir starting zones, because that's kind of what they're gonna want to start with. And I think Beast Lords and XRs are gonna be in and Vus of course too. And halfling rangers and halfling, uh, or well, halfling rangers and halfling paladins will be in as well. There's no halfling shadow knights. No shadow knights. Yeah, th that is in too. And, and they're not going to follow a live timeline like P99, right? Um, I believe they're just following their own custom timeline, and yeah, yeah I think what they're going to eventually end up with is the server is going to stop at planes of power because that's the max the client supports. In fact, the client's really old, too. I mean, it's from 2002. It's older than the Titanium client by about two years. So you have the old UI available on the Windows side. Um, you have the uh, you have the newer UI available on the Mac side. And, oh, yes, you can play it on a Macintosh. Macintosh actually is available for use. If you have a OS X machine, you can put that EverQuest Mac client on it and start playing it. I agree. Um, it was actually one of, pro probably, I would say, the best experience for MMOs on Mac that you'll ever get.
I actually played on it. Um, also, uh, I saw something in the chat. Also, you said Tag Project would use titanium, restricting so many people by only using the Mac light. That is false. There is actually a Windows client for use. Uh, it's kind of a hack. It uses DirectX 8 and doesn't work on all systems, but there is actually a Windows client available for use on that server in conjunction with the Mac client. Uh, one of the GMs from the server actually uses the Windows client, and I do too, to get on there. Yeah. Uh, I want to clarify uh, something that I saw in the chat earlier. The P99 staff does not hate women. That view that was expressed earlier was, was, what? It may have just been don't like women. I would just like to say that oh, P99 I've been muted staff, for a minute. <laughs> we love, we love women. And there we have no problem with women. There is only one person who has some kind of grudge of some kind. I'm whoa, not going to whoa, go into whoa, whoa. No one said grudge. Did I say grudge? I, I think you said I might have, I might have said grudge, actually. Grudge might have said what might have come out of my mouth. You might have said you want to disembowel all females. That did not come out of my mouth. No, because I, I said something about a uh, 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 feminist decapitating you, and you said, no, I'm going to do that to them. No, I'm going to apply it to the whole female gender. See, so I don't know. I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to go back and look at the tape. I need... Well, I'm, you, yeah, I'm you throwing the red flag. <laughs> if you want to edit that later, we're all good with that. We, I just might, we might have to edit that. <laughs> the, the P99 staff does not share the opinions of uh, lead CSR Sirkin. We love... <laughs> we love... Uh, we love women. Uh, next damn, week, I'm going to have to read a formal apology. Else. Yeah, you probably are. You probably are. <laughs> Dear women... <laughs> I apologize. Circuit. Yeah, no, probably, probably. Oh, I'm but not yeah. doing it. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> Tag Project is the Alcabra Project. It's a Planes of Power era emulator, mm -hmm. which also has dual support for the Macintosh server. It is not a competitor to Classic. Uh, it has lots of unclassic features in it. And like despite cats. Having, like cats and XRs that... <laughs> Do you guys have the, the, the newer models, too? Uh, yes, they do have the newer models available. So. Oh, man. That is, yeah, there's you nothing can, classic. You can modify the client any way you want, though. It's really a little bit more, I guess you would say, o open. because Secrets you, giving permission to hack the server. Well, let, let's be real here. We don't, we don't really I'm like, look down on people that would, like, want to hack or anything like using simple macros to automate things i mean obviously that's not allowed but i mean you can't really stop that 100 percent unless you use the solution like project 1999 had um yeah yeah and even then it's a con constant it's maintenance. A constant battle yep, and yep. at that point you might as well just allow the macros but anything like that could really cause damage you can detect on the server anyway yeah nah, that's true um, is there any kind of ETA for, uh, like, is it open right now, or is it beta, or... It's be it's uh, it's in a alpha phase right now, and you're able to log in, boost the character to level 50, and start playing around on there. Nice, nice. Um, is there, uh, forms or something you could throw in the chat room, so... Yep, sure can. Do that, too. I'm doing that right now. Uh, basically, this is the forms. Not a lot of players, but, you know, I'm really, a. Uh, it's more of a preservation project. It's not something that you would want like to actually play on at the time being if it gets population great. That's kind of the same way P99 started out. Everything I, starts I small. Everything starts small. And you can't really just expect people to want to start like logging in and playing it, if it's, especially if it's not completed. And that's kind of the way P99 was. And then Nilbog put a lot of hard work and effort into his server and then launched it. And day one, he had 200 people on. We're not planning on getting 200 people. We want to make the server for the EQ Mac community, not a server for the P99 community. That is the clearest distinction that I can make. I like um, that. Secrets. Yeah, your, what's up? your name in the chat is just bugging the hell out of me because it's, it's secret SEQ. <laughs> and god damn it, I just... I, I want to ban you really bad because it's like... <laughs> SEQ over and over again. Uh, that's how Show I see you. Agatha's name. <laughs> what yeah, what is Agatha's I'm, name? He's Agatha oh, R ninety nine. Agatha R ninety nine. Yeah. Oh my Agatha god. Agatha R ninety nine. Oh man. God damn it. Yeah, I see it now. I'm secret. sorry. I I tried to capitalize it, but Twitch never saves my settings. Those. Oh, bastards. Twitch, you're the worst. Those bastards. Actually, uh, 
cross promotion here, but Talon actually s um, spent a lot of time on tech just to get the classic particles working for P99. So we're really open to contributing to the community and letting them use our work. Yeah, I was going to mention whole... that. I wanted to thank them for that yeah. access. And actually, uh, you can set up your own server. It's not like P99 closed source. There's nothing wrong with being closed source, mind you. It's just that P99 has their own thing. We have our own thing. My own thing is going to be letting everyone download and install and contribute. And that's the way we want to go about it. P99 goes about it their own way. There's nothing wrong with doing it. Here's the thing. Together. We make the P99 source available, some other asshole is going to take it and start making money with it. And that's that's just real life. You're going to have some yeah. asshole open a server and be like, you can RMT on my server, it's wonderful. Yeah. And and <laughs> it's just not worth it. <clears throat> Whereas a preservation project, there's going to be such a niche community that you don't really have the room to have more than one server. But at the same time, if you have one server that's focused around the central development I, I think there's room for that. That's kind of what Project EQ has done over the years, and I think that's kind of the direction that TAC has taken it. <laughs> I mean, PEQ, they allow 40 boxing. We're obviously not allowing that on TAC, but, you know... Is, they, it, a th is it a three boxing limit? It, I, I believe it is a three boxing limit. That is correct. Okay. And one, one set of accounts per player. Um, I've got, I've got, uh, if you guys don't mind if we switch topics here, actually, Sergan might not even want to talk about this, but I'm going to, I'm going to run it by him real quick. Huh? How do you feel about an open, uh, raid petition system, Sergan? Um, initially I didn't think it was a good idea because I was concerned mm -hmm. that players, uh, would right. react very badly, like I told you, but then we, we sounded it off when we were trying to resolve some petitions with some guilds, and uh, they reacted the exact opposite of what I was expecting them to. And I mean, as long as uh, as long as long it wouldn't turn into like an ego thing, I thought whoever had the idea of not making them public until after they were resolved was a really good idea. Um, because when other people can see what you're doing, egos come into play. I mean, that's the whole reason we talk to people one-on-one -on -one instead of not in right. front of everybody is because you can be... It's just more civil that way. Right. And um, I, I really don't want to deal with raid petitions plus people protecting egos and uh, assumed reputations and whatnot, whatnot. But after they're resolved making them public record, I would be okay with that. And then we wouldn't have to worry about other people posting in them as well. It, it, I, just, I would feel very good about them being public after they were resolved. Personal opinion, I think the Rubles post on this about having public raid petitions where only officers or a designated representative can One post representative for the guild. Can post for the yes. guild. Yeah. I think that is fantastic, and I think that's the idea you guys should go for. The only reason that would be the ideal solution is because then if that person has the ego, they can represent the entire guild and people can make their judgments if they want to stay in that guild or not, which it also ties into some of the politics that normally happen with, uh, you know, all this inner guild drama. People don't quit their guild because one person acts like an asshole. No, but people may not join that guild if they see one person acting like an asshat representing the entire guild. Oh, man, that pixel greed. Yeah. Um, the Yeah, so the reason I brought this up, Sirkin, is because there's been that thread that Zastin put up in uh, in server chat. And then obviously, you know, we were talking about this. Right, right, right. Uh, for quite some time before that. Mm -hmm. um, and the number one reason why I, I had the same thought as Sirkin uh, before this, and actually mine was a little bit different. I just, there there's a number of problems with, setting up an open raid petition system um ego is one privacy is another uh you know not being not having to uh i guess not having to be as careful with the way that you format things and all that and present things um but after uh enough time has gone by now and after watching uh, and seeing how things have progressed, I actually really like the idea of having everything to being open specifically because it removes any uh, it removes any uh, chance for uh, misinterpretation and specifically misinterpretation of things that we do and we say and and we rule um, in during the process of doing a raid dispute. And that's something that, you know, 
the the tinfoil hats and but see here's and... the thing i don't give a shit what uh, no, what I, people I, I think was, about I that i was literally <laughs> just about to touch on that oh, okay say, the, the tinfoil hat theories and the misconceptions and the misinterpretations um i know that you don't care about that um all that much and at all at all yeah right like it well, doesn't even it's yeah, not even yeah. bouncing it's just a dead needle on the left side oh gosh you make you make it sound like you just hate everybody in any case <laughs> um, i love them like, they can listen to my lighthouse video where i tell them how much i love them i think that the the part that's important for me is that just that the things that we say don't get skewed or misinterpreted and the reason why that's important is because I don't want one guy to take something and hear it from somebody else, and then all of a sudden it become it's like telephone, right? It all goes around and it becomes some crazy thing. Mm -hmm. um, this way, if we had an open raid petition system, it would go direct from us, our ruling, to the players. They'd be able to see how we came to that decision. Um, like I said, I know Circuit doesn't care about the PR side of things. I kind of do and kind of don't i feel like you as long shouldn't as we're doing, you shouldn't and in time as as you won't as long as we're doing the right thing i don't really mind but i do understand the player's concern in wanting to see why we're doing what we're doing and that's why i support doing an open petition system so that they can understand where we're coming from um, well, that's why i'd be for after they're resolved making them public but not while they're in progress See, I think that it's actually beneficial to have them up while they're in progress because if you, if your petition is is so on the edge that you're afraid of other people seeing it, you shouldn't be petitioning it anyway. Do you really think, based on half the shit you've read on the forums, that these people have any kind of filters at all before well, then, they click but, post? But then, but then why care about ego at all? Why not just do it public and open uh, right from the get-go? The, 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 the problem with keeping it closed is really if you don't tell people exactly what's happening from the staff they're going to make their own interpretations of what is right and what is wrong without reading the rules and the problem is when people start going into rants and flames and saying tmo did this tmo did that and you right. only see the response from a gm you're going to have the issue of a gm like saying one thing and then someone says no that gm is lying that didn't happen in petitions. Right, right. And right, but you get that same end result by by making it public after it's finished. Well, the whole right. point of making it public is so that... It's like there when there's no... a crime in progress. You don't make the records public until after the court is finished and the guy's in jail. Right. I'm, I'm saying that after it's finished, I think that would be great. And keeping it... You can move it to a public forum after it's finished as to avoid speculation. Yeah, I mean, I think either or, as, as long as they're public. I just, I don't see any point in keeping it covered up during the actual, the way that I had proposed doing it, there, there isn't really any reason to, to keep it hidden, because it's, it's kind of just boom, bang, boom, everything's done, all the evidence is presented, we make a ruling, and there, there's no ego involved. Uh, the, only, the only place where, I guess, ego would be involved is if you've got a really shitty petition that you really shouldn't be complaining about, but you, you want to submit it anyway because you're just trying to stick somebody with a rule, uh, then then maybe uh, that's where it would come into play. And I think that would actually be beneficial because that person would think twice about doing it. Um, but either way, I, I like the idea of doing it. Um, I wanted to just kind of touch base on it because I didn't know how you were how you felt, Sirkin. So I didn't know if you were going to come out and be like, I support it or I hate it tonight when i asked um i think the best way i to support it if it's resolved and i don't support it if it's in progress that's mm -hmm. my opinion okay. on it. I, yeah i mean i i don't think that we're even gonna do anything anytime soon on it but um, i do feel that the the resolved and then public i feel that's a very nice compromise I, yeah i really I, feel like <laughs> the the whole the whole system right now how it is yeah, I feel like if they know how, what it is after it's resolved, that's fine. But I think the only people that should be able to see the, the responses to the petition, like, let's say an incident happens. You put up a petition in the forums for someone says, let's open a dispute. You put the dispute in the dispute forums. The representatives from each guild can view it. And no one else from the guild unless the representative breaks the But trust. now you're requiring Rogan to create subforms and give access to specific players. Let's say, I'm talking about a perfect world here. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's, 
that would I'm be still really trying cool. to get Omni raid form access to the yeah, damn sure. raid discussion form. That would be the major. I read class R with... forms and they're like, "Yeah, this staff is the fucking worst. I can't even talk in the raid discussion. I'm a guild leader." Yeah, so, we have. I well, mean, that's uh, that's part of the problem with the. Well, I guess we could we could swing it other ways. In any case, yeah, I had no problem with doing the. The moving them into a public forum, like having them private and then moving them back out. I would still, I don't think it matters, but I don't have enough stock in either basket to give a shit. As long as people can see our decision making process, I don't care. I, yeah. I just, I want to clear up all of that fucking gray area that we've had where people go, oh, well, this happened Most or that happened. Flames, or, yeah. or we have this person saying it happened this way or this or anything. Uh, that, that is driving me absolutely crazy. Actually, buddy, it's not. Buddy, it's that's not, high school driving, shit. You shouldn't even not, let that get to you at all. Yeah, 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 let me You should that. giggle it's when not, they do that shit. Not driving me crazy, but I would prefer it to be more clear. Because it causes issues, right? Like, more for you than anyone else, Sirkin, because you're the one who ends up getting the, the inevitable, uh, well, you did this on that, and blah, 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 blah. Like, I can always just slink back and, and pretend like I have, like, oh, Sirkin's the lead CSR, and, like, pretend like I don't have any fucking say in anything and i have I, you know right no, no my finish. body's ready it is battle tested <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking in chat here and nick said something that says that idea doesn't work because one hears from the other that your guild rep isn't sharing the current information i disagree if only if it was publicized after the fact uh and the guild rep has to maintain integrity and be honest with the guild because he could compromise his this, the rolling based on what happens in private, and if he's not being honest with his guild, he's only going to lose out on his guild. I, I I really think it's the best idea to share the information after and with the public and keep the guild rep representative like in the thing the entire time, including the decision after. Uh, that would work the best, in my opinion. Yeah. I absolutely agree with that. Um, yeah. Well, well, Talon, do you have an opinion on those uh, public raid petition things? Well, I mean, I'm not ever involved in raiding on here, so right. I mean, but I do. I still see the drama unfolding on the forums. Um, I kind of agree that releasing it after the fact, because that'll kind of get everything cleared, like Dear Bill uh, was saying. Mm -hmm. So without seeing the process, I, I think if everyone was able to say whatever they wanted at any time i think it would just escalate and there'd be a lot more stuff to sift through yeah yeah no we would definitely have to have a specific format um before we just jumped into it but yeah i, I agree that it i think it does need to happen at some point but we'll we'll get to it when we get to it so i like it i think we should wrap this up what <laughs> oh yeah well, Velius will be worth it, though. Let me tell you, I spent the last three days I, playing around in uh, Tower of Frozen Shadow, and I, the, I had a blast. Uh, the last couple um, months, just talking to Nelbog about the level of detail, and man, <clears throat> just some of, some of the quests that I'm still seeing that you guys are implementing, especially the level of detail they put into, I think it was the Seventh Ring War, or the Seventh Ring quest. Uh, the, the little war that happens where the doors and giants are in place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on the side of Eastern Waste near the Orc Fort or whatever it was, mm -hmm. I I I saw that and wow, just the level of detail Nilbog put. He had to done that event like twenty times just to get the position right. Yeah, he he put a lot of work into all the scripted events, uh, or I should say a lot. I don't know if all of them, but the little details. There's a lot of things he did with the scripted events to make them work. Um, I saw a oh, couple yeah. of them on the uh, on his test server before we opened up beta. Yeah, I saw one in Wakeley Lands. It was really cool. Yeah, a plus, a plus. Um, we're gonna wrap this up because we're just about hitting that two hour mark. Wrap it really? up. Beep. So, uh, Telling in secrets. Thanks for coming on. And Darabelle, you know I love you. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Good, good to be back. Thank you. Do you have uh, Telling plug? Do you have anything to plug or say or whatever? Uh, no, I think I covered everything. I well, nothing else to plug. Well, that's that's wonderful. We love you, and we're very happy for all the things you've done, sir. Thank you for coming on and talking about it. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, secrets. I'm just gonna have to plug Tech Project again because I put a lot of hours of my life into that project. 
much like you guys have put so much hours into Project 1999, and you know, I, I feel honestly, I feel like it's a way of pl paying reparations to that community because when that EQ Mac Windows thing came, went out, I felt horrible. I, I, once I realized the damage that it did, I yeah. felt horrible, and this is just my way of saying sorry. So, I spent many hours. I I, I think I spent over at least a good. 700 hours on this so far. Wow. Just, yeah, just making sure the Whoa. code gets right. You yeah, keep um, showing I leveled away. on Alcabor to 65, and about a month later, it was deleted. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. You keep chugging away, sir. Um, All right. Um, throw a link in chat again for these people because yep, they're lazy. Will do. There, Bill. Yes. Uh, You're the last you, one. Before you play us out here, buddy. Uh, GM chat on Wednesday. Um, uh, it's gonna be a thing. We don't know what we're going to talk about. It's either going to be Velius Beta or it's going to be. Mm, uh, it's going to be Why a Serkin Hates Women or. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we'll figure something out. It's going to be God cool. It. Uh, it's going to be short. It's going to be very journalistic and professional, like it always is. And uh, it's going to happen. So uh, tune in on uh, Wednesday at 6, six something. Six, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard, 9 p.m. Eastern at Twitch TV. Slash Darabell. Pacific Standard. Hey, dumb. one more thing Pacific I should add. Standard. One more thing. I just wanted to thank uh, Nobog and Rogan for uh, trusting me and giving me the access I needed to get everything done that I did. Hey. So uh, without them, it wouldn't be possible, really. And I'd like to thank them for just being awesome. And honestly, I'd like to thank them just for all the things they've done for me as a person. Without this project, without this this experience, I wouldn't be half the person I would be today. And so thanks, guys. I think it's adorable that you think Rogan and Nobog listen to this. Uh, I, I, I don't think they will ever, actually, but, you know. Actually, Nobog does. Uh, Nobog does, I'm sure. All right, whatever. Nobog I'm making does. jokes and you're killing it for me. Yeah, well, no, but he does. every. He listens to it every every Monday night. I mean, he doesn't always listen to it that community. night. This whole emulator community has changed me as a person. So, uh, oh, I mean, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Before uh, one more, one last final note to leave everybody on. Sirkin, apparently you do not hate women, my friend. You just hat them. Oh, that's got to be better. It's an improvement. I mean, it <laughs> sounds like you, you maybe you just uh, you fit them for hats. I just don't want you, their heads to be cold. Maybe you put hats on them. <laughs> you or, lose the uh, most heat through your head, ladies. I'm sure. trying to exactly. keep you safe. Exactly. It's cold out what there. Is this, Team Fortress. We're gonna there's have hats no, now. Oh no, God damn it! No We're, done. We're done. We're done. We're all yep. done. Uh, all right, guys, I put them on hold. We're done with all of them. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, um, yeah, that's it. Watch the old videos at youtube.com slash circump99. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you know what else to do. That's twitch.tv slash circump99. Uh, Monday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, we do this thing here. And we do EQ Classic better than anyone else on the Internet. Uh, bye, everybody.
God damn it. <laughs> I forgot to turn these off. Alright, that's it. We're done. Bye, everybody.